Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a y-axis that has the billions label. Uh, these are for examples where you have in our, your y-axis values that go into the millions, billions, or trillions. And I'll show you two ways to do it. One with the capabilities already available and another one which is a workaround of custom number formatting. So let's get into it. So here I've got some randomized data. Uh, this is the random data between, uh, I think, 1 million to 1 trillion, right? Uh, let's see if this is between 1 million and 1 trillion. I'm going to put some decimals here so it makes it easier to look at. Let's just highlight all this and make it decimals. And I'll just pull back, pull back the uh, decimals here. I mean, give commas here so it makes it easy to look at. So we have... Uh, 70 billion here. Okay, this is, yeah, it could be potentially up to the trillions. Let's see, but it didn't do that. So it's actually up to the billion. So so let's make a chart out of this. Go to insert and we'll make a simple bar chart. All right? So I have my bar chart here. And as you noticed, we have our y-axis that is in the billions. If we don't want to have that, have that many zeros here, the easiest way to do it is just to bring up the format axis and the navigation will come up here and you're going to have this display units where you can uh, click on the drop down and you can go from the billions to trillions, right? So you have these options that are available for you. Now that's really quick and easy. Now if you didn't like to have the billions on the side, you like to have the, the M or the B here, there's another way we can do that and that's with custom number formatting. So if I uh, do the display units none and I go under number here, I can create a custom number format. Now what we need to do is to utilize something which is not used very often and this is kind of like conditional formatting within the custom number format. So let me click on here, go to customs and the type. I don't really need this type. I need to just add a new one. So let's delete this. I'm going to press delete or just select everything, double click to select everything, press delete. And the custom number format I'm going to do is it rep it's represented in brackets. So I do the open bracket, square brackets. If it's greater than, greater than or equal to, so if this is greater than or equal to a billion, so that's one followed by uh, nine zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and close brackets. Then we're going to make this pound hash hash, hash hash hash, uh, and then comma, comma, comma. And each of these commas represent a, when you think about it, a removal of a thousandths place. So one comma removes the thousandths, the second comma removes the um, millionths, uh, the hundred thousandths, the next comma removes the, the next set of uh, zeros, which is going to be the millions, right? So after this, I can just type space, a text, and I'm going to put it in quotes. And the text is B, which is going to represent billions, right? So if I click on add, it's going to create that for me. Now I have my 120 billion, I have my zero to 20 billion. One thing we can add extra with this is to uh, add another uh, area here where we would indicate millions because what if our data include also mi millions and billions? So if I change my data here, let's say I made this millions, I'll just remove three zeros here, one, two, three, this is a random number generator between top, bottom, and top. And remove one, two, three, and press Control Enter. So this affects all these range of cells. You would see that now I have these funny values here. And to kind of mitigate that, what I need to do is click in here and go under number. It's kind of changed that form a little bit to also incorporate the millions. So where it says general here, I don't know why that put that in there probably by default it did, I can add another uh, entry or kind of formula or, or for custom number format that's after this. So what, what basically this says is if this is over a million, equal to, equal to over a million, have this number format and everything else, let's have another number format. So that's going to be this pound, comma, pound, 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 
and instead of three commas, you'll have two commas. One, two, space, and then we'll put a open quotes, capital M, close quotes. Let's add that in there. And now you've noticed that it is incorporated. So once you change all any of these here, let's make this one million again. Add the three zeros, one, two, three, and add it here. One, two, three, make this back to a billion. Control enter. Now you notice that it's changed here too. So that's the other way that we can change our Y axis labeling to four millions or billions. And of course you can go up to trillions if, and you wanted to change it, you can change it here. You notice that it goes up to the trillions here, or you can adjust the numbering format as we did earlier with the billions and millions. So that's the ways that we can adjust our Y axis labeling to indicate millions or billions. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.